Hey guys, welcome back to Viraco. Finally, I am in my studio room. I am still, you know, doing my background, but right now I'm loving the vibe. Let me know what you guys think, but let's get into the video. So today I am going to be trying out a bunch of new makeup and this is going to be like a chit-chat video where I'm just going to give you all a few life updates i have like literally a lot of makeup that i've collected i have purchased and i have got to try it's been a while since i tried new makeup and i'm so so excited to give these a go so let's quickly get started but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time i upload a video now let's get started so as i'm doing my makeup i'm going to chit chat with you guys give you all a little bit of life update cuz i know you guys have not been updated what is going on with me i just gave a little bit of glimpse in my like two videos back and i told you guys that i've shifted to bangalore i was originally from mumbai and now i am based out of bangalore so let's start with primer for primer i have this this is the smashbox halo plumping dew plus hyaluronic acid illuminating moisturizer now this is a moisturizer not a primer so i need some hydration cuz it is cold here and my skin tends to get dry and the foundation that i'm going to be applying will need some hydration underneath so let's start with this i haven't used this before but uh, as i am doing this let me tell you that the reason i shifted here to bangalore is because my husband wanted to set up his company here so yeah hmm smells really good and it's very glowy it has glitter particles in it hmm but otherwise it's just gotten absorbed into my skin pretty quickly and it's not like very very sticky it's just hydrating enough on its own i feel like it just gives such a beautiful glow even if it has glitter particles they are very fine and to the naked eye it just looks amazing so i'm happy with that but i will need to prime a little bit cuz i am still an oily skin type so i'm just going to use my trusty elf poreless putty primer and i'm just going to prime my t zone now for foundation i have this product with me this is the max studio fix tech cream to powder foundation i have not used such a product before and since this was the studio fix range i trust that range that's the reason i'm actually trying this out and this is in the shade nc40 itself nc40 is my original shade in the studio fix fluid foundation as well but it looks a little dark here so we're going to see i think i'm going to use my brush now this one is a morphe brush which came in a set i've been using this quite a lot to apply my foundation and i've been loving it so let's see how this goes The color is actually matching me pretty perfectly. It looks a little dark here, but actually it's the perfect match. And other than that, it has like a medium coverage, and I think if I layer it, it's going to be like a fuller coverage. And so far, it feels very light. It's not a very heavy feeling foundation. And like a little bit is going quite a long way as you can see. Hum the finish as you can see is pretty smooth on camera you can see that it has literally covered up everything so i'm not too mad about it and even with a brush it did apply pretty smoothly at the start i felt like it's a little bit of a streaky application but as i blended it out it melted into my skin and it's settling really well so i'll keep you all updated about this foundation as i go through the video because it's going to change its finish i feel also there's a new update 
I am filming on a new camera. I invested in a new camera and this is the first video in this particular camera and I just cannot wait to see the results. In the viewfinder it looks amazing. So hopefully it's a good upgrade. Uh, so previously I was using the Canon 800D and I loved that camera. I still love it. It's such a budget friendly, good quality camera for such a good price. This one is the Canon 90D. So I was figuring out whether I should go for the, I think, what is that? Mm, yeah, the Mark IV. But along with the Mark IV, there were a lot of other things that I needed to update. Like I had to get a screen, then I had to get like an entire setup which would need more equipment and I just didn't want that clutter. I felt like the viewfinder just is so much more easier and there was not much of a difference in the quality in both of them. I researched a lot, trust me. And I thought that this is going to be a good upgrade and I'm so far, I'm very, very happy with it. So anyway, let's move on to the concealer. Now for concealer, I am using this. This is the new one. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now, if you guys must have seen my previous video, you must have seen that the e.l.f. Camo Matte Concealer, I think. Uh, the HD Concealer is my favorite one. So I wanted to give this one a go because I feel like this is hydrating. So this is going to be more of a like a natural finish. So I hope this turns out good. And the shade that I have is Medium Sand. And I'm just going to apply it right in my inner corners and the outer corners on my eyelids just to prime them. And I'm using my e.l.f. Camo sponge. I think that's what it's called. It's very, very good and very affordable. Oh, wow. This concealer. Look at that. It's full coverage like the matte one but it has like a hydrating finish to it just look at that look at that my under eyes look so good and the shade also I feel is like the perfect like brightening shade it's just one shade lighter than my skin tone and it's blending beautifully Wow I'm blown away you guys this concealer is so good so before I go ahead and set this I have something from Patrick Dar that I purchased uh, I think this was sent to me and yeah, this was sent to me by a page Instagram page which I will mention right here so I particularly wanted to use this because it has cream blushes in it and look at this it looks so beautiful these are the cream shades and these are the powder blushes so what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna try out this shade because this looks like my kind of blush shade the packaging is just so pretty and let me tell you what's its name it's called as a major headlines blush palette and the shade that i'm gonna be using is she's baked i suppose Wow, that blush shade is just perfect. That is exactly the shade that I was looking for. And it blends beautifully and adds that glow. To set everything, I have this with me. This is the Krylon Translucent Powder. Now, I have tried out the Krylon Translucent Powder before, I think, in the shade TL09. And I absolutely used to love it. But I couldn't find that shade, so I went ahead and purchased this shade that is TL04. And this is a bigger tub, like this is a huge tub, literally, look at that. This is gonna be really messy. That's one thing that I already don't like. But first I am gonna bake under the eyes with this. And just peek in my T zone. Okay, it does have a really strong smell of baby powder. So if you have a problem with that, I think you might not like this product. 
because it's pretty strong I'm just setting the rest of my face with my elf flawless face brush now for brows I have this this is the Bobbi Brown's perfectly defined long wear brow pencil and this is in the shade espresso this is the only brow pencil that I have which is new so let's try it out so one side is the brow product and the other side is a spoolie now it's almost actually it's been more than a month since I've shifted here to Bangalore and so far I am actually loving the city the food is just so good here and it's like a very independent life that I have never ever like lived I've always stayed with my parents throughout my life and even after marriage the first few months I was with my in-laws so like responsibilities and everything was a little lesser but here everything has to be done on my own so that is one big like stress but other than that I'm actually enjoying it because this is the first time I am experiencing such a thing this eyebrow pencil is really good it's very quick very precise and the shade is also not bad it's just a little bit light but I don't mind so i have a few thoughts on this particular krylon powder i feel like it's a little bit heavy and it's not as smooth as i remember it looks quite powdery to me so um i mean i have like literally found so many good setting powders the k beauty one has to be my absolute favorite then the becca one is also really good so compared to that I am not really a fan. I just feel like it's not that great a quality translucent powder. So yeah. Now for eyes, I have two eyeshadow palettes with me. One is this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Complexion Inspired Eyeshadow Palette. And the other one is this. This is by Natasha Denona. This is the Biwa palette. This is the first time I actually purchased something from Natasha Denona. And I haven't tried out any of her products and I've heard so many good things about her eyeshadow palette specifically and this one was expensive again I got this from uh, an Instagram site called as international makeup I always purchase most of my international makeup from her because she's very trustworthy I've been purchasing from her since years she has her own brand as well which is amazing but this is what the palette looks like look at the shades the shades are just so beautiful these are the browns that i use there are blacks there is like this beautiful brown shade right here which looks amazing i think i'm gonna use this palette i just want to show you this palette as well this is what it looks like and these are the shades inside it as you can see my kind of shades do let me know if you guys want me to try this palette out in another tutorial so I will do that but today I'm actually excited to use this so let's go with this one I think I'm gonna start off with this shade called as freckle oh wow as my transition shade and these are really pigmented the brush that I'm using is the Morphe's Jaclyn Hill brush in JH32. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Coco right here and I'm going to apply this directly in my crease. Just deepening that up with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe JH33 brush. very pigmented eyeshadows and very blendable as well so i'm liking them then using the same brush i'm just gonna take the shade called as tor 
or tour i am not sure and i'm just going to very very lightly darken my outer corners just a little bit I'll tell you one amazing thing about these eyeshadows there's literally no fallout whatsoever and I'm using like dark shades before I go ahead and apply my uh, eyelid shade I am just gonna apply concealer and do like a very rough cut crease so that I get the full pigmentation on my eyelids on my eyelids I am gonna apply this shade called as Monroe what that is such a beautiful shade oh wow that's actually amazing even with the fingers the application is very similar like i did with a brush so that's good so it picks up the brush actually picks up a good amount of pigment otherwise most of the eyeshadows which are metallic don't pick on a brush the shades in this eyeshadow palette are just beautiful i'm actually gonna go in with a shade called as shine and i'm just gonna layer it on top of this that's more like a pinky champagne shade Okay, on my low waterline, I'm gonna take this shade called as Stone and I'm just gonna smoke it out there. Now to complete this eye look, I had ordered this. This is the Chambord Extreme Eyes Long Wear Gold, but this one is in the shade dark brown so i wanted like a dark brown kajal kind of thing so and i had never tried out anything from chambord so i thought this is like the perfect time to try this out so let's do a little bit of eyeliner oh wow that's good actually I'm just gonna smudge it So what I'm gonna quickly do is I am gonna apply some mascara, some lashes and then I'll be right back to complete the rest of the face makeup. So let's go! My eye makeup is looking so pretty. I am loving it. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. Now for that, first let's bronze. Now for bronzer I have this. Now I have been eyeing this product since a very very long time. But I always felt like, you know, the shade is going to be too light for me. So hopefully it is not. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Long Wear Matte Bronzer. The packaging is so beautiful. Just look at that. It's a beautiful packaging. So let's give this one a go. Now, along with that, I also bought this set of brushes from ELF. This is the Blush and Glow Face Brush Kit. So I am going to use this brush from this collection. It seems like a little bit of a harder brush. So let's see how it goes. But of course, this smells like some chocolate. And and of course it is sweet as well to eat it because the powder does go in my mouth oh wow that's stunning i literally thought that this is not going to suit my skin tone but that's not the case whatsoever and this brush is also good it's spreading the product out pretty evenly and not even like moving my makeup products to bade hi nikal rahe. surprising so finally i have my own kitchen where i am the person who's deciding everything it is a little tough i will be honest khud kitchen sambhalna itni easy baat nahi hai if there is a helping hand it's always a blessing but i am enjoying it right now and uh, yeah making some amazing dishes mini coffee machine we set over here if you guys don't know i have a coffee machine which i'm obsessed with i love coffee and i particularly love the coffee 
that my coffee machine makes so i set it up like two days ago and finally after such a long time i'm having my own coffee eh, i just cannot do without that so anyway for blush i am using this shade from the patrick tars palette this is a very very pigmented blush now i'm getting tongue tied so like a little bit goes a long way and it does blend very well it's not that it doesn't blend oh yeah the formula is very very pigmented so be careful but the shade is so pretty this palette gets a 10 out of 10 from me. I really, really like it. I think I'm going to use this quite often. Now, let's move on to highlighter. I have this palette that was sent to me by Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. So, it has four shades in it. And uh, one side is like a blush topper. It's shimmery. These are blush toppers and these are the highlighters. So I'm going to use this shade. This is called as Rich Gold Powder. Okay. This is a very, very glittery highlighter and very intense as you can see. Actually looks amazing. Look at how glistening my skin is looking. Let's try this shade and just top off the highest points. Wow. Wow. I don't recommend this particular brush kit because I feel like the brushes are a little too harsh for the skin so the application is not going to be that good anyway let's move on to lips but before that I'm just gonna spritz my face with some fix plus to melt this makeup For lips, I have this particular lip liner from Color Bar Cuties. It is a definer lip liner and this one is in the shade Chocolate Brown. I have never tried out Color Bar lip liners or for that matter, I've never tried out Color Bar lipsticks. Color Bar, if you're out there, I want to try your lipsticks. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty small lip liner and I don't know how much was it for. This comes for rupees 300 not bad but it's still a small lip liner that's a stunning shade this lip liner formula is so good and it's not like very creamy lip liners have to have a little bit of harshness to it so that they stay Wow, that's so pretty. That shade is bomb. I have a lipstick from Jeffree Star. Now, I don't think most of you guys know, but Jeffree Star is available on Nykaa. And I am going to be using this shade. This is, uh, what is this called? The Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Leo. This is what it looks like. Look at that shade. I had completely forgotten about these. And I was very excited when it got delivered, but like I said, I forgot about them. Let's try out the shade. Oh, wow. I'm telling you guys, today we have a good makeup day because literally everything except for the setting powder is so good. Wow, this is such a beautiful shade. <laughs> so this is the final result as you can see i have this beautiful glam going on and everything on my face is just looking stunning all the products that i use were stunning except for the setting powder but everything else 
is so good and definitely going in my everyday makeup kit even the foundation is looking so good like i did not expect that foundation to be so good but i think that is also going to be something that i'm going to be using quite often so yeah that's it let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this video and what were your favorite products from this video what do you think you guys are going to try out because there are so many new things that i found that was so satisfying at 1 am in the night trying out such beautiful makeup trying out such amazing products wow yeah that's it if you all did like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i'm going to go now and i'll see you all in my next video very soon and let bye